getting the bearers roughly the same. They don't need to be exact. Level it up. Pilot drill them, that'll stop them splitting. Right, that's the floor. I'll start building the, the walls now. Just work out which side you want your windows that will go on. We'll go on either side. Get 50 mil screws. This is the top level. Make sure the top's nice and level. So the gable top will sit on nicely. One in the top, one in the middle. Bottom. With the plain side, if you wanted to put a window here, you could. Another thing with these panels, you must get them up the right way round. There's a lip on the, there's a lip on the bottom, and the flush on the top, and the lip just lips over the floor. Back the sides, we'll start building the door gable. That's the lip that we talked about. Lip on the bottom. That'll just lip over there, and you know you've got them the right, right way up. Right, the threshold, a piece of wood in there for the threshold, which keeps these panels right distance apart. Again, just pilot drill that, stop it splitting. 50 mil screws, same as, same as we used for the rest of it. Gable top. Central lap to the middle. Make sure that's all level. Right, before you put that one on, make your truss up. Because this makes a good pattern to build your truss. No, we do there. Keep one one way, one the other way, like that. Now, if you blunt the point of a nail, it will just stop that from splitting. got that now so we'll turn it over and just finish finish nail that side so get that level there make sure that's level there just pilot drill again 50 mil screws truss that we've just made, just centre it up so it's right in the middle, drill down there, and a 50 mil screw. And the same on the other side. Slot the 
purlins in. I'll just go on that, sit in there, they'll rest on that truss. That one on there. This is the eaves purlin, so it can only fit that way. And we just level it, each end. So it's all nice and level that way. And that's just 30 mil nails, one every 300 mil, roughly 300 mil a foot. And we do that to all, to all four of them. And starting with one quarter of the roof, lining it up to that top point. Trusses half on, so it's half and half. You can see half of the truss. Push it up a little bit. And just alter things. That's got to come right on that point there. And now that end. Right, that's the roof's on. Now we're going to fasten it all to its, fasten it all to the floor. So it's a pilot drill, 50 mil screws. It's a rule of thumb, if there's two screws in every panel, that's fine. Make sure these go into the joist of the floor, which you can see by where the nails run. Right, the felt, if you measure your roof and then go 100 mil longer, that's 50 mil each end, there'll be enough to overhang. You can use one of your corner trims just to cut the felt, just as a nice straight edge. So it's your roof measurement plus 50 mil over each end. you've cut one you can mark off your you can mark off the one you've already just cut right so we lay the first piece out and we want about 50 mil over the front, the barge board will cover that, but then make sure you've got enough just to cover that eaves frame up. So you've got enough to cover that, enough to go over the front. Pop a felt tack in that top corner. Go to the other end. And again, there's plenty of overhang. Enough to cover that. And a felt tack in that, in that corner. Just several in there just to hold that. 
can just bend that Fold that, don't cut it, but fold it like that. The barge board will go over there. I'm looking at a felt tack about, about every 100 mil, about four inches. Right. Now we've got one on each side. Roll it out and even it 50 mil over the front, roughly. And that will overlap the other two pieces and the water will run straight off. four corners so it's tight. Right we're going to hang the hang the door now we're using 10 inch T hinges on this model and we've got to make sure that when we put the screws in they penetrate into the batten underneath the door. I'm going to use uh, 30 mil screws. <clears throat> now off the door up. Off the door up into the frame. One in the bottom, one in the top. <coughs> and if you're happy with that, just pop the rest in. And then there's turn button, one at the top, one at the bottom, black screws for these. Just position it where you want it. Film, protective film on both sides. Plastic cell on there. Need a pair of hands for this. It'll only fit one way. It'll fit that way. There. We're looking at about half and half on the framing. If you've got that. Okay. And it's pilot drill, making sure not to drill through the styrene. And three 30mm screws. And the screw will go right through the centre of the join. Get that lined up. Right, 
Right, corner trims next. They just go in the corner. You want four, four 30 mil nails in these. Just finishes the, just finishes the corner off. Thirty mil nails. That one on that side. The finial will cover the top bit. And the finial go over the top. If you just blunt the nail, it'll stop that splitting. Or you can, you can pilot drill it, little hole. 